The Supreme Court has overruled Roe v. Wade the 1973 decision giving a nationwide constitutional right to end a pregnancy. The decision is expected to lead to abortion bans or severe restrictions in roughly half the states in just a matter of weeks. The outcome is similar to the, a leaked draft of the court's opinion uh, that uh, appeared in early May that was written by Justice Samuel Alito. Alito concluded that Roe and a 1992 case, Planned Parenthood v. Casey, which basically affirmed the right to abortion, were egregiously wrong and needed to be overruled. The case now leaves states free to ban abortion, uh, and as I said, about half the states are expected to do that, and in other states, the right to abortion has actually been expanded in recent months. The court's decision was really the culmination of decades of efforts by abortion opponents to undo the Roe v. Wade ruling. And it was really made possible by the addition of three appointees of former President Donald Trump to the Supreme Court. Before that, it would have been unthinkable for the court to, to take this momentous step. Back at the arguments, Roberts suggested that he might support upholding the law at issue in this case, which is a Mississippi's ban on abortion after 15 weeks, without saying anything about the fate of Roe v. Wade. Uh, in the end, though, a majority of the court was willing to take that bigger step. There's one abortion clinic in Mississippi, and it doesn't perform abortions after 16 weeks of pregnancy. The Mississippi law, which was enacted in 2018, was really enacted with the intent of challenging Roe v. Wade. It only sought to uh, ban abortions just one week earlier than the clinic stops performing them anyway. The strategy was a bit of a long shot at the time because when the law was passed, Justice Anthony Kennedy, who supported abortion rights, still sat on the court, and so did Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Kennedy retired in 2018, Ginsburg died in 2020, and their replacements were both in the majority today to overrule Roe.